guys welcome back to the channel i am anna and i'm a little bit spooky but today i'm feeling very christmasy i know who am i anyway <laughs> so in today's video i want to do super romantic sultry kind of soft ish glam using all drugstore products i mean super accessible not just affordable but true just drugstore products stuff you can run out to cvs to walgreens to Rite Aid, to Walmart, to the drugstore site at Ulta, and buy right there in front of you. Even at your local grocery store, you'll be able to get a lot of these products. They're just very readily available stuff. You're not gonna have to order anything online. It's all just right there in front of you. So yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to do today. Use very accessible, easy products to get your hands on and save you some money for Christmas so you can still look glam and get all those Christmas presents for yourself. <laughs> anyway. So in this look, we used a little bit of Wet n Wild, a little bit of NYX, a little bit of CoverGirl, and we've used Drugstore False Lashes that I think look beautiful. The brows, everything is drugstore. Everything. So if you want to see how to get this look and get your drugstore glam on for this holiday season, just keep watching. But before you do, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. Let me know some drugstore products you want to see me play with. And... Do you want to see some more like full-on cut crease super duper glam from the drugstore? I am down for it. Let me know in the comments below. Without further ado, let's get into this holiday glittery glam look. Let's get started on this holiday look. The palette I want to use is the Wet n Wild My Glamour Squad palette, which is a dupe of the uh, Soft Glam palette. These Wet n Wild palettes like this are fantastic. I can't recommend them enough. They are quality is perfect. So I think we're going to use this palette today because it's just, I think, kind of perfect for holiday glam. Okay, so I've already set down my uh, lids with some eyeshadow primer. I used the Milani eyeshadow primer, some CoverGirl under cover concealer, and then set everything down with some translucent powder, all drugstore. My brows are all wet and wild. I'm going to try to use nothing but super affordable brushes, brushes from e.l.f. and Real Techniques. See here, all things you can find at your local Walmart, Walgreens, CVS. I want to keep this super easy and just really accessible. Because I know there's a lot of affordable brands online, but they're online. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this big brush here. This is technically a flawless concealer brush from e.l.f., but I like this for the crease transition. I'm going to jump right into that transition shade in the palette. Knock off the excess and I'm going to bring it right in the transition. And we're just going to start building that depth and kind of contour to the eye. Okay, so now I'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush. This is just the e.l.f. fluffy brush, I believe. e.l.f. blender brush. And I'm going to go into this warm shade right here. I'm going to bring that a little bit lower into the crease. And let that blend into the transition shade. Dude, that's such a good eyeshadow. Look at that. That blend is fantastic. You don't need to have the most expensive anything. And I think that's such a misconception, and especially in the way things are right now, it's a very consumer-based market, and products are being pushed so much, and they're so expensive. Like, there's been so many high-end launches this year that you would like spend thousands on these palettes and everything that you just you really don't need them all uh, i just feel like there's been a lot of really expensive palettes being pushed and it's uh, just too much and you don't have to have every single one of these palettes to look glam and feel good about yourself i always look at it as way i don't want to buy every single thing that comes out because i don't want every single thing that comes out even if i'm a content creator influence whatever i don't care <laughs> Like, I want what I want, and that's why I don't post a lot of negative reviews, is because I don't buy things I don't want. That's neither here nor there. We're here talking about some drugstore glam today. And I want to use products from different price points at the drugstore, because that's one thing, is there's such a wide variety of prices just within the drugstore. Like, you have Milani. It's kind of a stuff that is almost high-end priced. That's kind of ridiculous very expensive 
So I don't want to include their eyeshadow palettes because yeah, they're accessible, but are they really? Like, if you're on a budget, a $25 eyeshadow palette is out of budget. I would just go to Sephora at that point and get, you know, that APH palette or something that I've been after. Uh, I just want you to know that you, you can have beautifully glam looks without going broke. Because I'm taking the Royal Technique Techniques brush now. It's a little bit smaller. It's just their base shadow brush. I'm going to jump into this darkest kind of ready brown. I'm going to bring that a little bit lower still. That's another thing. You can get some decent brushes from the drugstore. Everybody thinks you have to have such expensive brushes. You don't really. I mean, yeah, those expensive brushes are great, but you can get the job done with a Real Techniques brush, some e.l.f. brushes, and like Eco Tools makes fantastic brushes. Like you don't have to have Akahodu and Wayne Cost brushes and Sonia G just to create some glam looks. If you can afford it, don't worry about it. I also want this look to be very easy. Like, you know, you don't have to have crazy makeup artist skills to do it. I'm going back in that transition shade and just buffing over all of that. Okay, I'm taking that really warm, ready brown. This is gonna be one of those looks that anyone can wear. You know, it's gonna be kind of universally flattering. So now I'm gonna take this brush from Elf, which is their blending brush. It's kind of flat, and I'm going to jump into Deepest Shade, which for some reason they call it Transition Shade, even though it is. I'm gonna take this on this outer corner. That. you could stop here you don't have to go in with the black which I'm gonna do in a minute you could just leave it with this dark brown if you're more comfortable with that because the whole point of this look is to be something that is accessible for anyone in my head anyway so you could tailor this so easily skip a shade that I'm using you don't have to blend as high or blend as much or whatever just do what makes you feel good make yourself just feel pretty I'm just gonna just guide you along Showing you what I like to do to feel pretty, and if you want to use these techniques, I think I want to take a little bit more of that reddish brown right in there. Yeah, these shades are blending really well. It's a good palette. Now what I'm going to use to give this extra oomph of glam is I'm going to do a half cut crease, which is an I feel like a very easy way to like add in a super glam element to a look. And a little bit of structure by still keeping it sultry and easy by just doing the just a little half cut crease it's super simple doing a full cut crease can get kind of overwhelming and annoying and isn't flattering on the majority of people honestly but a half cut crease is something that is flattering on most eyes it's easy to do and let me show you uh, also a good look would be just to do a halo eye where you could take a darker shade and put it right in here and then have your lighter shade in the center that would also look really good in that for that you would just carve out the entire lid space that isn't a look that I find flattering on myself it looks beautiful on people like a uh, raw beauty Christy with her big beautiful doe eyes I've got these tiny little shrimp eyes so I find that the half cut crease gives me the illusion of having a bigger more lifted youthful eye because I do a hooded kind of downturn eyes naturally and I feel like that just is more flattering for me to kind of go with this shade. I think I did a, a halo eye a little while back with the Jackie and Ina palette. I'll link that in the cards. So I'm going to cut the crease real quick and for that I'm going to use a drugstore concealer. I'm going to use the uh, CoverGirl Undercover Concealer which is fantastic. What I do is I start right here at the inner corner and instead of following the fold, I follow my bone shape where it tucks in right here. You see my crease is down here, but my actual lid, my actual uh, curve of my eyebrow, eyeball, brow bone is much higher. So I follow that instead and just do that right there. And that's your general shape, your outline. And then just fill it in with the concealer. You can keep this more smoky and soft if you want to. 
I kind of like a little bit of a clean look on the inner part and then to let it get super smoky out here. It's just your preference. If you like a more cat eye shape, if you like a more rounded shape, that is up to you. That's basically it right there. So we'll do it on the other side. Okay, this is roughly the shape I'm gonna go with. So now I'm gonna go back into this brush here, which is a flat, fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go into that darkest brown that says transition for some bizarre ass reason. And what we're going to do is soften this edge right here. Again, you don't have to use black. You can just use a dark brown like this. I am going to bring in some black just because that's me. You know, you don't want to do a look that doesn't look like you. I tend to be a little bit more on the dramatic side with my makeup. I always have been. So it's not like it's out of the ordinary for me to do that. And that's one thing I always think people should keep in mind, especially when you're getting your makeup done, or if you are a makeup artist working on a client, is to remember, think about what that person wears on their day-to-day -day basis. Don't make them look like someone they're not. Take their beauty and their aesthetic and their style and just refine it a little bit or elevate it for something for a special occasion. That's all I think the goal of makeup artists really is to just make people feel pretty feel beautiful, feel special, and I love doing that. And that's coming from someone who does makeup for like a wedding or a special event. I don't do um, film or anything like that really. You know, I don't work in that space. I don't work in the industry in that way. Okay, so it's got that brown blended right there. So for the lid, I'm. you can either go with these golds or these rosy tones. I don't know which I want to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this gold shade right here on this brush. I'm going to go in and dry and see how it does. So I was having a minute of a debate trying to figure out what color do I want to use. What I'm doing is taking that right up to where we've carved out that crease. Real Techniques brush, that base shadow brush. I'm going to go into that reddish brown. I want to bring it right on this edge. Right here. Just going for a little more depth right in there. Right at the edge of that cut crease. And just kind of soften that line a little bit. I don't want a super harsh defined cut. I'm going to clean off that wet mold brush. And I'm going to take the Palest gold shade and just put it right here. And also, if you have the soft glam palette, you could totally follow along with this look because you have all the shades as well. And just let that flow into the deeper gold. Just like that. This is one of those makeup looks that I just feel pretty in and it just works. And you could stop right here and not add anything deeper on the outer corner but I'm going with just a just a teaser of some black eyeshadow. Okay so we're gonna take a elf liner brush or angled brush what they call them small angle brush I'm gonna jump into the black shade here and I'm gonna go right along the lash line with it. As so you can see kind of a couple liner options where you can keep it a little more subdued like this and just stick to the lash line, which can be very flattering and easy and not look too much. Or you can kind of build it up and bring it into a wing like this. Just a soft, smoky wing. Which is kind of my preferred way to do it because I want that little bit of lift on the outer corner that being too harsh and just letting it softly diffuse into that lid shade just like that blendy brush here just to make sure it's soft brush again with a little bit of that deepest black deepest brown and just make sure that is blended and smooth right here on this outer corner no harsh lines except for right in this very center where we have that little bit of definition from the cut crease. 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some black eyeliner. This is a Maybelline Tattoo Studio liner that is waterproof and supposed to last and wear super well. We will be putting that to the test. This is just gonna go right into the roots of the lashes. You could use a liquid liner if you wanted to for more of a precise look. If you want to add even more like sparkle and something really pretty to this look, I think Flower Beauty and a few other brands make some beautiful liquid glittery eyeshadows, which I just, I don't have any from the drugstore. So what I'm gonna do now is clean up this little bit of fallout I have right here. We'll be right back. So I cleaned up the fallout and now we're gonna move on to the lower lash line. And for that I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer. I actually did put a little bit of eyeshadow primer under there and I have done a little bit of eye cream. Use the rock. What's this called? Retinol Correction Eye Cream. It's a pretty nice under eye cream. It feels good. It moisturizes and it feels like it's doing something. I've used that for a very long time, but I just recently got some some PR, so I was like, oh, thanks. Cool. So it's a product I already know I like, <laughs> which is, I love that. So we just take just a little concealer brush here. This is a Sony Cash brush, which is Target <laughs> priced. It's not like Walgreens or, Drug or CVS, but it's Target. So you take that just over right here. I'm just gonna pull it along right here, clean everything up. Blend that down some. It's not so harsh looking. Okay, I'll do this just to clean up right in there. Yeah, I'm using the uh, CoverGirl Undercover Concealer. There's a lot of fantastic drugstore concealers on the market right now. I'm really into the CoverGirl one and the e.l.f. one. The uh, 16 hour camo concealer and this, the CoverGirl undercover concealer. They are both fantastic. My eye is being a little watery, so I'm trying to work around that as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna take an e.l.f. C brush. Is this what it's called? Yeah, it's just a flat kind of smudgy brush that's kind of floppy. It's really good for right under here. So we're gonna take the, let's take the warm brown. I'll put it on the screen, which one I'm using. I'm going to bring this first along here. And I'm taking the product just on one side of the brush. So when I went along, it's only putting it on top. Here's if that makes sense. Deeper warm brown. A more concentrate on the outer corner. And the deepest brown. A little further into the outer corner, blending up into that upper lid eyeshadow. It's not one stick on the side because this is watering. So we go ahead and take that black eyeliner again, and we're gonna take it just right out here, so it joins up to the outer portion, just right in here. I'm gonna take my brush and my C brush and blend it. You could do the black eyeshadow if you wanted to, right in this portion. I think I got my watery eye calmed down and sorted out. So what I'm gonna do now is do this inner corner a little bit. I think I'm gonna take the lightest gold shade. I'm gonna take that on that same brush we used on the upper part of the lid to apply it. And I'm just gonna run it. I'm just taking on like the one side of the brush and So I was digging in my collection, I'm like, what do I have that is glittery that is drugstore? And I have these NYX Glitter Goals palettes. Um, I think you might could probably get these at Walgreens and the NYX thingy in the middle of the gondola. Uh, Walmart, I believe, has them now. You know, you can find them at a variety of drugstores and Ulta, of course. But I'm going to take this kind of taupey one right here. And I'm going to just take it on my little finger here. Little thingy. Like so, I think I'm just gonna pat it kind of right here on the lid. Oh yeah, okay. Just gonna add a little bit of a sparkle glam in there. There we go, yeah! That's what we needed. I'm keeping it more towards the middle. If I had a lighter shade, I would probably pull it more to the inner part. And of course, this is optional. Kind of gives it a little bit of a Tati Beauty vibe, does it not? So, for skin. 
Again, we're gonna keep it all drugstore. I've already moisturized with the rock eye cream under here and on the rest of the face I use the rock deep wrinkle SPF stuff. Primer I'm gonna use NYX Angel Bill, which is like my favorite drugstore primer. And I'm gonna get into the skin I gotta push pressing motion and spreading motion. Okay, and for a little bit of a cream contour from the drugstore, I want to do this under my foundation because that's just kind of how I like to do my cream contour. There's a few options. I think CoverGirl has one. NYX has some options, definitely. NYX has some good cream contour and liquid contour options. And Wet n Wild does. This right here is a contour stick. I have this in light medium. It's a tad warm, but it, it works and it's quite lovely. I'm gonna use a Japanese sponge today. Um, these, I did find this at my local Walmart. Uh, you may be able to find it at yours, but there's plenty of fantastic drugstore sponges. There's Eco Tools, which is fantastic. Their sponge is great. Uh, obviously, the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, Miracle Sponge is uh, fucking good. So there's a lot of options out there. I just got these to try out, and I was like, ooh, they're pretty. They're so pretty. So I'm going to take the Infallible Fresh Wear, which is my Holy Grail Drugstore foundation right now, and the shade Pearl, which is the most perfect shade for me as well, and just start. I always start around my jaw, just because I have a lot of redness there and I want to blend it with my neck. Yeah, I noticed my face is like 10 shades different than the rest of my body. tell you how happy I am about the shade Pearl. It is just the most perfect foundation shade for me. As you can see, I am very pale. So I just rambled the whole time I was putting foundation on. I will probably cut that out because it wasn't relevant. I'm gonna do some concealing. Again, there's a million amazing drugstore concealers, like so many. So I'm just gonna use my CoverGirl undercover concealer just because the guy in front of me. Again, I there's so many good ones. There's Age Rewind, there's this one, there's the Elf Camo Concealer, which is amazing. Oh goodness, I mean. L'Oreal's got great ones. Depending on what you want, if you want full coverage, if you want light coverage, Maybelline makes some fantastic ones. set everything. I'm going to use the Fit Me powder from uh, Maybelline. This is the Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. It's called actually a finishing powder. I'm knocking the excess off the back of my hand. And uh, again, doing a light bake. I'm just gonna use this. This is an Elf uh, Flawless Face Brush. I'm taking what's left in the lid and just dusting it over the rest of the face and neck area. Anywhere I applied, applied product. My lashes on and some mascara. Fixed anything that need fixing around the eyes and some brow gel. All of the mascara and lashes are drugstore. The lashes are Salon Perfect Wispies. 
which I'm really, really liking. I think they might be a favorite. And for mascara, I use the Green Luminous, but you can't really see it. It just looks like regular mascara. <laughs> I wish it was a little bit more vibrant green. That's my only complaint there. And yeah, and the brows, of course, it was all wet and wild pencils. And then I used the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Boost and Set just to give the hair some body. So now let's move on to some powder contour, bronzing, blush, and all that. For contour, I'm going to use the NYX Contour Duo. This is not a favorite, but it's what I got from the drugstore right now. And we'll make her work. It's not the worst. It's just, it's very pigmented. That's it. So use with caution. My contour brush, I'm going to use this one from Wet n Wild. This is just their, again, oldie but a goodie. I've had this for quite a long time. It's held up fairly well. It doesn't look the prettiest, but she's still in great condition as far as the brush. So I'm going to take that into the powder and really knock off the excess. And just... flicking motions upward all right and I'm gonna do the nose real quick with an eco tools brush I like to use this one it's got kind of a flat packer brush blendy I'm really gonna take off the excess and just dust right along here right in this little region where I have a natural contour and start right here at the brow and kind of come down Kind of blending it into the eyeshadow and then just let it taper off. I have a fairly thin nose as it is, so I don't try to contour it to necessarily make it skinnier just to so it doesn't look flat on my face. And I'll blend that contour in a little bit with my face brush here that we used to apply the powder. Well, let's go ahead and do highlighter, then we'll do blush. Uh, see what I want to use for highlight today. Mm -hmm. Because this is kind of a glam look, I think I'm going to use Written in the Stars from Wet n Wild because it is a beautiful, beautiful highlighter and it's very sparkly and just pretty. Even though it's a little cool toned, I think it'll do okay. I'm going to also take this on the inner corner while we're at it. For blush. With this look, I would either go with Sophisticated Sable, which would be much more of a neutral, but since we do have some warmth going on in the eyes, I think I'm going to go in with Lani's Luminoso, which is a fantastic drugstore blush. There's so many good blushes at the drugstore, but Lani's baked ones are just, they're like hourglass level good. Oh, I didn't realize that was in there. Usually I use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders to go over and just buff everything out and so everything looks blended and smooth and perfect. Oh shit, we forgot to bronze. <laughs> Oops, let's bronze real quick. Sunset Striptease from Wet Wild when it's broken. But this is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer and it's very close to the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. bronze a whole lot I just dust just a tad on there just to bring a little bit of warmth now back to what I say about the hourglass products because there's not really a drugstore equivalent that is marketed like that like the ambient lighting powders I have found that the wet n wild color icon uh, mine's very well loved and beaten up and the lid is somewhere in the other room <laughs> This is a SPF 15 bronzer, which is super pale, like it is my skin tone, right? It has the luminosity to it and the, almost the same texture as the ambient lighting powders. Like it is pretty much a dupe for it. Like it has that slight sheen in, I mean, this color, it looks almost exactly like, uh, I think diffused or dim light. I mean, it's almost a dead on dupe, which is, almost too dark for me to use but on the rest of, like on the outer parts of my face it's fine so what I do is I'm gonna take this buffing brush well flawless face brush from elf which I usually use this for knock off the excess and then I take it and I just literally buff around my face and this just makes sure the contour the bronzer 
the blush and everything is just flowing together and there's a skin like appearance and you get an extra layer of setting powder over top or a layer of powder that can help set and lock things in see this is very well loved obviously anytime i do a drugstore look i use it you see it just gives a slight luminosity to the skin that lit from within glow that it on the skin looks exactly like the ambient lighting powders if they took this and started marketing it that way it would be and had multiple colors the lumitrans highlighter from wet n wild which is a dupe almost dead dupe for the fenty and i'm just gonna pat right here it has less glitters in it and it's more just metallic i'm just taking this on my highest point just patting it on okay got the hair judged let's go ahead and move on to the lips and we will be finished I don't want to have a drugstore red lip liner, but I want to use do a kind of reddish lip. This is Cherry Skies from NYX. is one of the liquid suede. It's kind of a unique red. Like, it's not a true red. It's kind of, I don't know, you'll see when I put it on. But I need to line my lips first, and I'm going to have to use a non-drugstore lip liner. But you can get a red lip liner at the drugstore, like, super easy. I just don't have and have one because I have, like... Two other red lip liners that are not drugstore. I just haven't needed one. Okay, lips are lined. I just kind of filled them in lightly because when you do a red, you just it kind of want to do that. If I had a tone like this from the drugstore, I would definitely probably would wear it. This is a little bit softer. Obviously, you can do like a nude or something if you're more comfortable with that for a holiday party. Actually, it's kind of classic to go with a red. And Cherry Skies is kind of a unique red, and it's one I really enjoy. I just wasn't sure about it with the eye combination, but I think it'll be all right. Now, if you do want to use Cherry Skies from NYX, they do make a lip liner that coordinates with this. I just don't have it. I should probably get it because it is, this is kind of a favorite lip that I just forget about wearing. Okay, and this is the finished look I'm using all accessible drugstore products that you can just run out and buy. Don't have to shop online and search around and get. You can just go to your local Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Ulta, and pick all these products up. And I think this look came out really, really pretty. Like I could have created this look using high-end products and it came out it would have come out exactly the same. So, I mean, I love that. Like, you could use Tati's palette to get this look. You could have used the ABH Soft Glam to get the exact same eye look and still have the exact same result, I would think. And ignore my hair. It's a little bit. We're in a transition stage. Just don't. Let's not talk about it, okay? I think pairing this with this kind of off red lip and everything gives a little bit of a uniqueness. Skin, I think, looks great. Everything I use in this video definitely performs on par with the high-end counterparts or high-end products, hands down. They're great products and that's why I reach for them and use them. And if you can save some money here, here and there, why not? The drugstore is there for you and there's always coupons and discounts and sales. So you never have to pay full price for anything from the drugstore. So yeah, uh, I just wanted to create a easy, accessible, save you some money holiday, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, glam look, solstice, <laughs> you name it. Just a holiday glam look for the ages. And again, any age could wear this look. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. Makeup is a truly is something that is a one size fits all. Don't be afraid of glitter. No matter how old you are, girl, you rock that glitter. It don't matter. You rock that shimmery lid. You do you. And just as long as you feel beautiful, that's all that matters. That is it for today. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this look and enjoyed watching me get some my drugstore glam on. And if you want to see more looks from the drugstore, let me know in the comments below. Recommend me products you want to see me use, test out, whatever. Do you want to see like some avant-garde, like full-on super duper glam looks from the drugstore? Do you want to see more soft glam looks? You name it, just let me know in the comments down below and 
and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay spooky and happy holidays. Bye now.